Welcome to a new vlog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to flash your Shelly relay with Tasmota or ESP Home, the easy way using a Volink USB to serial converter. Now, what is a Shelly relay? You might ask. Well, if you're into home automation, a Shelly relay is this Wi Fi connected smart relay built into a very compact form factor in order to fit inside electrical junction boxes like behind wall switches or wall sockets. This makes it very convenient for adding smart capability to existing infrastructure. The manufacturer offers a pretty comprehensive app and a cloud service, as well as various apps to control the uh, Shelly relay and you also get add-ons for integrating with Home Assistant but you might feel like you want all of your devices to run Tasmota or ESP Home for some particular extra features that are included in those uh, firmwares or just general uniformity across your network so that it is easier to manage. Myself, I prefer Tasmota and I won't go into a discussion of Tasmota versus ESP Home in this video. Whichever you prefer, it's fine. I'll show you how to do it. Now, the first point on our list is going to be safety. Because Shelly devices operate on mains voltages, it is very important to think about your safety when doing the programming procedure and generally when uh, installing these guys into your system. Here, for example, I have a Shelly 2.5 but what I'm going to show you applies to most, if not all, of the models in their lineup. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com and if you are into electronics, you should try designing and ordering your own PCBs. But not just that, you can even get custom manufactured enclosures or parts for your projects through services like 3D printing, CNC, milling, injection molding, everything under one brand, pcbway.com, so check them out. Shelly devices have a power supply inside the unit to step down the 240 volts input to 3.3 volts needed to power the ESP8266 chip inside. That power supply is not galvanically isolated from the programming header, which means there is a risk of electrical shock or damage to equipment if uh, you were to connect this to your computer while the relay is connected to mains power. So as a first rule and very important, never connect your Shelly relay to a computer while it is mains powered. The best thing to do is to remove this from your installation so that it's completely disconnected from the mains wiring. You can use something like the Volink USB to serial adapter, which is a product I sell on my Tindy store. And this module has a built-in power supply capable of powering the Shelly relay while programming. So there is no need for it to be mains powered. This is a high quality USB to serial adapter with a USB type C port. And as I will show you in a moment, it's capable of high baud rates, which means fast programming times, while at the same time providing up to 500 milliamps at 3.3 volts to power any downstream device. The Volink also provides automatic reset for the ESP8266 and the ESP32 devices, and that means there is no need to push or hold any buttons for reset and bootloader mode. Everything is handled automatically. I will put a link to this device on screen right now, and like I mentioned, this can be ordered from my Tindy store. The next thing we need to consider is the connection between the programmer and the Shelly relay. And luckily, all Shelly relays come with an exposed uh, programming header, which means you don't have to take the device apart for programming. But due to size constraints, they use this rather small uh, pin header size. It's just 1.27 millimeter pin pitch, and most DuPont wires won't even fit inside those uh, sockets uh, and also will not fit next to each other for that pin pitch. So now you have two options. You either build yourself a Shelly programming cable using the uh, JST cable that you get included with your volt link and one of these um, 1.27 millimeter pin pitch headers. If you have something like this around, you just need to follow the publicly available pinout for your specific relay or as an option you can order one ready-made together with your uh, Volink USB to serial adapter. I mean it's quite easy to make one yourself if you have good soldering skills and a thin soldering iron tip but if you want to skip that step just uh, add the option uh, to your product order when placing uh, the order for the Volink and you'll get one of these uh, nicely ready-made cables 
uh, with strain relief on the connections. Now, depending on the pinout of the Shelly device you are trying to program, you need to make sure you insert the pin header into the programming connector on the Shelly device with the right orientation. For that, you will need to search for the pinout diagram of that particular relay. The pinout used on this ready-made cable is a ground IO0 reset 3.3 volt RX and TX and you sh it should fit the majority if not all of the Shelly relays. So you'll only need to figure out where the ground pin is and that varies from model to model. For example, for the Shelly 2.5 that I have here, the ground pin is the one closest to the reset switch. So that's where the ground pin needs to go. In this case, the ground pin is black, but if you get a different set of colors for your cable, you can trace that starting from the Volink programmer. And if we look here, we notice the black wire, which is the second one, goes to the pin labeled ground. For the actual programming, there are several av available tools that you can use. And here is two of my favorite options with Tasmota. There is the web installer and the Tasmotizer, both of which work really well with the Volink USB to serial adapter. So it's as simple as clicking install or Tasmotize, but both of these tools uh, do not offer baud rate settings and they will typically flash at something like uh, 500k baud rate maximum while the Volink is capable of much more, up to 3 million baud rate. Now if you're an advanced user and feel okay with using command line tools, here is for example how programming goes with a higher baud rate. The process is very similar for ESP Home as they too provide software for flashing their firmware. It's called ESP Home Flasher, so once again it's as simple as hitting a single button. And that's it, you are now ready to power on the, your newly installed Tasmota or ESP Home Firmware and configure it. And while using the Volink and the uh, custom cable I showed, does make the whole experience safer, uh, plug and play and convenient to use for the most inexperienced user, you are not limited to this. Using the information provided in this video, you can use any other USB to serial converter that has similar features to the Volink. And if you'd like to order a Volt link, I will put some links in the description below. And if you'd like to order a Volt link, I will put some links in the description below the video. That was all for today. And if this video was useful in any way, I would appreciate if you would hit the like button or if you would consider supporting the channel on Patreon. You can do that with as little as $1 per month. Thank you for watching and I will be seeing you next time.